Okay, so we're going to continue straight on with um, our bird animation. And um, I think what we're going to do first is we're going to combine this into our previous shot. So let's open that up. Um, so this is the uh, sunset with the cloud animation. And one neat feature of Fusion is that we can um, cut and paste together um, comps. So if I create a new comp like this, let's just minimize that. I can drag all of this stuff and control C. And I'll just paste that into a new comp there. And then I can grab all of this stuff, press Control C. Obviously that's a Windows shortcut, so it'll be the equivalent Mac shortcut. And then Control V to paste. And then we have the two different comps together. So now, let's just get that together, there we go. So now I can place my birds over my background simply by doing this. So I'm just going to drag from the end of the pRender node onto the end of this crop node like that and instantly create some merge node. And now we have our birds over our background. So I'm just going to do a little bit of work to um, make it a little prettier. So the first thing I'm going to do is just color pick some more sensible color from my environment. So I've clicked on the background node and I'm just using click and drag to pick a, a good colour for birds in this like sunny haze. That's good. And then I think they're a little close. So let's go into the emitter node and we're going to go to the style option and we're just going to shrink them down a bit. Let's have a look at like maybe that. That's better. Maybe a bit more. And I think just a little bit of blur would help. So let's drag in a blur and I'm going to drag it on top of that line. And let's just tweak the default. So I'm going to choose Barlet as my um, blur modifier. And just so I can see what's going on properly, I'm going to turn on high quality mode and motion blur down on the bottom. Right, there we go. So and I'm going to control click, which is just going to give me a bit of fine control. And there we go, that will do, I think. Yeah, let's have a look at that. Yeah, let's, let's place them a lot further away. So we're going to drop the size down to 0.1 what do you that's a bit better and then I'm going to change the emitter size a bit to just bunch them all up a bit now so the emitter and we'll go to region and let's just bunch them all up like that and reduce the height There you go, that's better. So let's have a look. So let's apply some motion blur, I think that would help. There we go. That's a lot better.
Cool. Okay, so I'll leave it there. And uh, in the next video, we'll look at um, some forces to um, break up this pattern and make it a bit more bird-like.